Oh my gosh, guess who's back? Back again from traveling. <laughs> I couldn't resist doing that. I just had to do it. I had to get it out. It's out of my system now. Here we go. Hello, everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I know I am because recently I had been traveling for three weeks straight. I was like hopping around everywhere from New York to Orlando, then Paris, then back to New York, and then back to LA. So as you can imagine, three weeks of traveling and working takes its toll, but at the same time, Time traveling is also a really amazing experience and you know I love being organized when I travel because it helps with my sanity. So today I wanted to give you an in-depth look at my travel beauty bag. So the skincare products and the makeup products that I bring with me. I had a lot of this stuff with me when I was traveling for the three weeks and I also added in some other things because summer is coming up and these are things that I love using in the summer and they're also really, really great to travel with. And because I'm a CoverGirl Glambassador, I'm going to be showing you some of my new favorite products that I'm definitely gonna be taking with me when I go on vacation this summer. The question is now, are you ready for this? I know I am. I'm starting off with my plastic bag full of liquid and creams, and I like to separate everything out, so just in case they ask you to remove your liquids, it's super easy. You can just pull it out of your bag and you don't have to dig through all of your stuff. The first thing that I have is my all-time favorite fragrance. This is a little baby mini adorable size of Jo Malone's Peony and Blush Suede. Oh my god, I can't even handle this. Look at this. Look at this thing. It is so cute. OMG. I've talked about this so many times. It's been my favorite fragrance for years. I wear it all the time and I don't like going anywhere without it. This comes with me always. I always like to make sure that I have SPF on my face and in the summertime, I bump it up to an SPF 50 and I really like Kate Somerville's Daily Deflector Moisturizer. It's SPF 50 PA++++. I like this moisturizer because it has a pump and it's really light when you put it on your face it doesn't make you feel greasy. It doesn't break me out. It does smell like sunscreen, so that's kind of like the one downside. But other than that, I really like it a lot. Now with summer approaching, I don't like to wear a heavy foundation on my face. So that's why this is key. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. This is a brand new oil-free foundation that really helps reduce shine. And if you are someone with oily skin like I have, oh my God, this is like a miracle sent from the heavens. And I'm not even exaggerating. Not only does this help with shine, but it'll also help cover imperfections in a really natural looking way. So it doesn't feel heavy and cakey on your skin. And it's also not gonna clog your pores. So this formula is really cool because it's made with a powder system that reduces shine and helps mattify your skin. And then as you rub this in, it just feels really light and refreshing. Now I gotta have a Regs moisturizer with me, duh. The one that I really love using, especially in the summer, is the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Oil-Free Mattifying Gel. And I love how this feels on my skin. It feels light and refreshing, and I've also noticed that it helps minimize the appearance of my pores, which is great. It really does provide the perfect amount of moisture to my skin, because in the summertime, I know, especially if you have oily skin, the last thing that you wanna do is moisturize, but it's still so, important to hydrate your skin and this works really well for me. You know I have deod with me. And yes, it is my Meow Meow Tweet baking soda free deodorant. This is a cream deodorant, which if you have not seen me talk about this, then you're probably like, what? What do you mean a cream deodorant? Well, it looks like this. It's a paste. And what I do is I scoop it out about that much. And then I lift up my arm and I rub it in my armpit. And it works really well. Now, this is not an antiperspirant, it's just a deodorant, so it helps with odor, but if you're somebody that gets really sweaty, then this is not gonna help you in that department. But I love how subtle the scent is. It's not really overpowering. It doesn't smell like a perfume. It just smells really light and natural, and that's what I like about it. And I also love that it's a cream consistency because it makes it super easy to apply, and it completely just blends into my skin, like it just turns invisible. 
and then I'm good to go. Now, if there was a way to create an antiperspirant without aluminum in it, wouldn't that just be a miracle for all of us? In the meantime, while we're waiting for that miracle, we have this miracle right here. This is CoverGirl's Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. Now, as you may know, I'm a big fan of the Regs Super Sizer Mascara, but this one is even more awesome. So most of us want longer lashes, but the options that are out there are a little bit too labor intensive, for me at least personally. You're probably thinking, well, why not throw on some fake lashes, Ingrid? I'm not good at that. I can do it, but I'm not good at it. It takes me a really long time, and I normally get frustrated in the process, so that's me being totally H. My solution to this is using this mascara because it has little tiny fibers in it that grab onto your lashes, making them longer and more voluminous. Now, if you've used the original Super Sizer mascara, then you recognize this lash styler. And this is really cool because when you apply the mascara, what you wanna do is start at the root and then twirl up as you move the wand up. And that really helps coat every single lash and get those little fibers on the end. I have a little baby eye cream, or actually eye gel cream, technically, from Fresh. And this is the Hydrating Rose. And it's a little, travel size so it's really easy to just pop in my bag and it doesn't take up a ton of space and I love this eye cream because it's really thick and moisturizing but it sinks into your skin really nicely and feels super refreshing when you put it on this is something you can use during the day or at night it works both ways and especially when you're traveling it's good to have products that you can use day and night let's talk about primers I actually have three things that could fall into the primer category because when it gets hot oh my skin just wants everything to melt off for my face i like using the lancome la Bosse pro pore eraser primer i love this primer so much it just smooths out your skin, fills in your pores, and just creates a really, really nice base for any makeup that you put over the top. Doesn't break me out, it doesn't feel heavy on my skin, it smells really nice. Oh my gosh, I could just keep going on and on. Love this stuff. On my eyes, does this product really need an introduction at this point? How many years has it been? Can somebody go down below in the comments and tell me how many years I have been talking about this primer? Because I'd actually really like to know. This is the NARS eyeshadow primer. It is my eyeshadow primer of choice because it keeps my eyeshadow on and that's a real feat for these oily eyelids. I also like having a colored eyeshadow base with me as well because I feel like it really just helps my eyeshadows look better like any powders that I put over the top and I love groundwork. It's the perfect neutral base. You can also wear it on its own but when you put eyeshadow over the top whether you're doing a daytime or a nighttime look it just looks perfect. All right, so those are all of my creams and liquids, and now it's time for the non-creams and liquids. Can we just talk about this little beauty bag that I have? It is from Anya Heinmark. I've had it for a while now, and I freaking love it. I travel with it all the time. It's a double-sided clear bag that says take off on this side, and then touch down on that side. Oh my God. But not only is it cute, it's also really practical because it is double-sided so it allows you to separate your products, but it's also really durable. Anya Heinmark has a lot of little travel pouches and bags, and all the zippers are really sturdy. They're all really easy to clean on the inside and the outside, and they hold up so well. It's really, really awesome when you find just great travel gear. So first thing is this CoverGirl Katie Cat Matte Lipstick, which I actually have on my lips today. It is the color Sphinx. Oh my God, can you even handle this? There are cat ears on the bottom. Ugh, I'm dying. These lipsticks are really cool because Katy Perry created them with CoverGirl. These lipsticks are a demi-matte formula, so they provide moisture and a smooth finish. We've all been there before with matte lip colors when they dry out your lips and then get flaky and it's just not good. But that does not happen with these because these provide the perfect balance of matte and moisture. And that's because these are made with ingredients like shea, aloe, and avocado butter. I have an eyelash curler because I curl my lashes. Boop, 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 boop. This is from Shiseido, by the way. I really like the Shiseido eyelash curlers. I actually like them more than the Shoe Ui. 
Lily Mara ones. Oh my gosh, yes. Very excited about this. I love this hair product. It's also not a liquid, so it's great for getting texture and volume, especially when you're traveling. It is from Schwarzkopf, and it's the Biotin Plus Volume Magic Volume Powder. So this is a powder that I just shake out into my hand. I use a tiny little bit, and then I rub it between my fingers. And it's interesting because it gets a little bit tacky, and then I run it in my roots like this. I just kind of like massage it in, and it provides lift and texture, and it just feels really nice in my hair and also smells really good. And I love that I don't have to carry around a big aerosol can or anything. I get the texture that I want in a little tiny light bottle. This weighs nothing. It's awesome. I have a little BB travel razor here that I love because it's super convenient. The actual razor head itself is standard size, but the handle is just very short and it's so convenient to travel with this because it comes with this case. It has little holes at the bottom so the razor can breathe and dry out and it allows you to have your regular razor that you want, but in like a baby travel size version. I almost called this my Anastasia brow pencil because I am so used to saying that. I said it for like over a year in almost every video, but it is not. It is the Bobbi Brown eyebrow pencil, which is my new fave for this year. And I love it because it has this angled tip. So the pencil just comes this way and stays angled. It's a long wearing eyebrow pencil, which is really helpful, especially for me because I have oily skin and sometimes my eyebrows just want to rub off. There's also a little brush on the end, which is very helpful for combing out my brows. I have a travel size of the Tatcha Classic Rice Enzyme Powder, and I have the full size of this in my bathroom, but when I travel, I like to have the baby size with me. This is also another great product because it's not a liquid, and normally face washes are liquids. So um, this makes it lighter, and it also is just super convenient to travel with because you don't have to worry about it spilling. You put a little bit in your hands when they're wet, you add some more water, rub your hands together, it creates this like foamy exfoliating cleanser, and it's just so lovely to use. It really gently exfoliates your skin while also cleansing it, and I find that my skin just feels super clean afterwards without feeling stripped and dry. And you know you love something when you have the full size and then you have the travel size so you can take it everywhere with you. So for eyeshadow, I have been loving this palette from Becca. It is the Ombre Rouge Eye Palette. And the first thing that I really like is how slim and compact it is. But then when you open it up, it just has beautiful neutral colors in it. And I have created so many different looks with this palette. So normally for a daytime look, I'd use like these two colors here. Sometimes I'll use a little bit of this one. And then if I want something more intense, I'll still use these colors, but then move into the darker colors here at the end. I can use the darkest one as like a little bit of a liner or like in the crease, make it smudgy. Super, super awesome palette. And I love the pigmentation of these eyeshadows. And also that some of them are a little bit more matte and then other ones have a slight, slight, slight shimmer to them, but they're not glittery. They just bring light to your eyes, which is so beautiful. Becca does a really great job with their glowy products. Speaking of glow from Becca, I have a blush from Becca as well. This is the Mineral Blush in Flower Child. It's a really pretty glowy peachy pink color that I have on my cheeks today. I love it. Oh, by the way, I also have those eyeshadows from the palette on my eyes today too. Dat dem do. Lip scrub. Okay, I love me a good lip scrub and my favorite is Mint Juleps from Lush. I love how minty and fresh this feels, but it's also sweet because of the sugar. It just really helps smooth out my lips. It gets rid of any dead skin that's hanging around. And especially when you're traveling, your lips just get dry. I just like having this with me at all times. I usually will also carry a liquid liner with me because liquid liner is like my go-to for a nighttime look. I'll just like pop it on and I feel like I'm a nighttime person. Grandpa goes out on the town. 
And I have been using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. So, you know, it's just one of these. We've all seen them before. Stays on, I don't have to worry about it smudging or anything, it's super black, love it. Oh my gosh, look at this little hula bronzer. Can you tell I'm just dying over all like the baby sizes that I have, I love it. So this is Benefit's Hula Bronzer and it's in the tiny size. Hula is really nice, especially in the summer for me when I start to get darker. It's not muddy, it's not orange, it's not too dark. I find that it works well if I want to contour a little bit or if I just want a subtle little bronzy glow. And then last but not least, I have this powder from Tarte. This is the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. This is a colorless powder that I use to set my makeup and also for touch-ups throughout the day if I start to get shiny. So it's blotting, setting, the whole shebang. All right, so that is gonna be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you try any of these products out, I would love to know. So make sure you take a photo and tweet or Instagram me and CoverGirl at Ingrid Nilsson and CoverGirl. We wanna see your super cute little photos. Oh my God, your faces though, you all. Oh, every time you send photos and you tag me in them, I'm just like, I can't, I can't. You all are the definition of K-E-W-T and that's better than the C-U-T-E, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more vids coming your way. If you missed my last video, you can click over there and watch it. And if you've already seen it and you feel compelled to watch it again, one, thank you, two, it over there. All right, I hope that you all are you know, getting ready for summer and feeling good about it. Sending you all good vibes for a happy summer that is quickly approaching us. Where is time going? I don't know, but I know that this is where this video ends. It always gets awkward here. Shall I pose for you? <laughs> okay, bye.